Good morning guys, welcome to InShane Designs, this is Shane here. We are sitting in a 2015 Z06 Corvette. Uh, it's in for a complete paint protection wrap, just like the ZL1 we did last week. I uh, just wanted to go over everything that we have going on. We are going to you know, get out and show you, go over the car, review it a little bit. Um, we want to go over a whole bunch of things that we got going on this week, a whole bunch of deadlines we have to meet. Uh, we got Gabe's C7 Stingray back. With the American Racing headers, we want to take you for a spin in that. Definitely do a review on it. It definitely got some bite now. It's got some horsepower. Sounds great. Sounds amazing. And believe it or not, we actually kept the Borla attack system where, you know, he wanted to give it back and go back to the factory exhaust. But we kept it. Sounds great. We're going to go over that here uh, this week. He's got the Z07 package, aero kit package. This is not ACS. This is the factory. So we are going to expo all of this. Full front, sides, splitters, side mirrors, roof, hatch, and then the spoiler as well. After we are done expelling the full car, we are going to be doing a ceramic coating on top of it to make this thing fully bulletproof. We're going to head to the shop now where we are going to start prepping the Corvette and then actually detailing the ZL1 for pickup for the customer. I want to let you know since we are in my development, uh, my residential home, uh, I had to definitely come out last night, start up the car, make sure it was in stealth mode so I didn't disturb the neighbors. You know, I want to try to be respectable. It's actually amazing how quiet these cars get whenever it's in stealth mode. It's unbelievable. I feel like I'm driving an electric sounding car. This car has the carbon ceramic brakes and the client actually warned us about them and said they are touchy as all hell. Oh, this thing drives so smooth. Just love the Corvettes, just love them. go ahead in here um, we're gonna do our daily routine turn everything on get everything rolling and then start maneuvering the cars getting both of these in getting this one prepped for installation getting that one prepped for pickup so let's have at it Some of the ACS composite stickers. Turning on, on. Initializing mechanics. Let's go over to the shop. Okay, so this will be the initial uh, wash. Um, we will also go over it with uh, some, you know, waterless detail, and then really prep all around the edges, really, really nicely, down any anywhere you can't really hit with the uh, with the sponge. So this is just the uh, first step. Get all the uh, aero kit package off, wheels off, uh, as much of the spoiler off as we can. The winglet's got to go. <coughs> License plate. And we're good. Check this out. Made in Italy. Corvette.
that looks like NF12. <laughs> so back to my conspiracy theory. I feel like Ferrari and Chevy got a little something going on. Still working on this Ace so Z07 front arrow kit package. Come on, Kurt. Hi. All right, guys. So we are about ready to start installing. Uh, we're gonna try a new technique, something new, uh, a little different from the gel solution that we have been using. Uh, there's a few cons about the gel. It leaves one hell of a mess. Plus, it leaves a bunch of uh, in certain areas. If you don't get all the gel, it just takes longer to cure out. So we actually have this new solution that we're gonna use, and we actually mix the solution with hot water so we're gonna try you know we're gonna use the hot water so it's easier to, to to stretch a little bit without like you know leaving any any type of stretch marks probably take a little more time since we're not you know used to using it but we're gonna see how it goes I think it'll turn out uh, you know much better finished product without leaving all the mess so let's have at it let's test this out okay so we have the slip solution we have rubbing alcohol, we have the prep ball, which is going to be our first step prep, and then we have the gel solution that Expel offers. You know, we're going to spray, we're going to use this around edges to, to lock stuff down, so that's what that's going to be for. Got our nice new microfibers. We're going to start with the hood. As you can see, I mean it's a damn near perfect finish and less cleanup. We're going to go mix the solution uh, a little weaker, add a little more water, that way maybe we can uh, get it to be perfect to where we can just apply it and it activates. So it's a trial and error, it's a field thing, it's a new product so uh, it's the first time using it so we need to learn it adapt to it, figure it out, and just go from there. We are in Gabe's modern camo vet. Uh, we are going to do a small reveal, you know, with the uh, upgraded parts such as the American Racing headers that are installed it net on it now, um, X-pipe, and then he also got a new intake manifold. So we'll definitely go over all that stuff. Uh, it definitely sounds awesome. It drives awesome, has more get up and go. And uh, we're gonna show you, you know, a little bit what you know, what it drives like. Also, we're gonna get you a startup video right about now. So as you can hear, it's definitely a much throatier sound now. Growl's really nice, extremely loud. There is no more stealth mode. It is all open, straight sport mode or track mode, whatever. Uh, I think it is track mode that opens the exhaust all the way. So he uh, deleted all the quietness, so it's definitely just loud. Um, so we're gonna take a first spin. We're gonna head to the shop. Mac is gone. It is at a, a shop, a local computer shop that is getting fixed. Hopefully we can get the screen back up and running. Um, we definitely are in desperate need of that computer. So it should be done today, waiting for the phone call, then I'll have to go pick it up. So unfortunately it sucks, but it's the nature of the beast. So with a little bit of heat, it seems to be activating a lot better obviously but still a little uh, a little slower we got to figure out how we can make this faster so we'll get there got the hood done definitely uh, the product that we used is uh, definitely a 
little bit of a better overall finish. Um, there's no solution bubbles. I mean, there's a little bit like you can see right there, but they all go away by the press of the finger. A um, little bit longer to lock, like I said, because we probably mixed the solution too strong. So we went in and watered it down a little bit, and we're about to move to the passenger side front quarter here. So now we're going to test out the the slip solution with a little less solution. Okay, so fender is done, completed, headlights done, hood done, hood vents done. Driver side fender, finny. Freaking looks wonderful. Everything's heated, locked down, post heated the shit out of these edges so nothing should lift. Same here. Yeah, baby, looks good. She's shining, so we'll pick this back up tomorrow. We are on day two of the Corvette Full Wrap Expel Paint Protection. Uh, what I'm doing right now is cutting out the rest of the panels. So that one just cut. We got two more, two more sections to cut out, which we are going to be using the 34 inch roll. Uh, we're going to take out the 60, put the 34 in, and then cut the rest. This is probably the worst part of the job is weeding it because as you can see it's clear. We don't have no lights under the table. so. It's very hard to see, so you have to, you know, get your head down, look in the light, and figure out where the cut marks are, so that way you're not, whenever you weed, you don't tear nothing or accidentally cut something. right there then you go like a quarter of an inch that's why we had funk right here too
game, brother. Okay, so we have an update here. The car is fully protected. We're actually just heating up and locking all the edges. And then we are going to pull it back out and re-clean it. So yeah, it's a little dirty right now, but not for long. Yep. Now you have like little fingertips. That's what we're heating right now. So a little bit of heat, a little bit of love, and those will go away. Took them off so we could cover as much of the spoilers we could. So Curtis is peeling off. We redouble sided him. Red Z06 that we paint protected had a wonderful day with the sunlight to cure out all the areas should be locked sealed the only thing we need to do now is go over rub our finger against anything that has been lifted and it should be good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that quick and then we are going to clean the car again which you know Seems like it's double work, but it's the easiest way to get rid of all the solution gel that ran all over the place. So that's what we're going to do uh, right now. We have Troy Sowers coming to do a ceramic coating on top of the Expel wrap. So this car pretty much will be bulletproof. Um, we're going to show you some really cool you know, pros about what the ceramic coating does as far as water running off of it dirt, grime, all that stuff. So that video will be coming up uh, next after this, or it will be actually be included with this video. Um, so Troy's on his way over now. He should be here within the next hour to get started on the ceramic coating. Now we got our special guest here at Troy Sowers doing the what, Troy? What are you doing to this car? Well, we're gonna put a coating down, C-quartz, but before I do that, I gotta make sure this whole thing is smooth, clean. So, got to do a whole wipe down, similar to what you do before you put the expel down. Now we do it all over again once the expel is down. So, be real careful, get this all cleaned up, get all the water spots, all excess water laying around, get that all taken care of, and then uh, time for the tedious coating process. So, is it safe to say that the prep is the most important part of what you're about to do? Yep, the prep, and I would say then after the prep is the flash time of the coating because you don't want to let it sit on there too long or you're never going to get the damn thing off and you don't take it off too soon because then it hasn't bonded. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a game. Temperature, humidity, just like I'm sure expel with drying times. It's a game of balancing between waiting to get everything perfect and trying to find that sweet spot. So we will uh, hope for the best. Thankfully, it's not freezing out here, nor huh. is it 105 degrees. So. We could turn the AC up if you wanted us to. It's good we could make right it now. freezing. It's kind of hot. 
It's kind of oh, hot. You got pants on. This Dude, I'm got, stressed. This guy's got pants on. Plus, I got high blood pressure. Yeah, That's probably why I'm hot. He's a little stressed. I'm, I'm all stressed out. <laughs> I need to just relax. Yeah. The most important thing about doing any work to a car is the prep work. It's the prep. If the prep work is not on point, the finished product is going to be garbage. So I cannot state that enough that you know we put most of our time into prepping the car to where you can get a finish like this. I mean, I cannot wait until the client comes and picks his car up. I think he's going to be ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. Troy's ecstatic. If you remember Andy Matthews from Accent's window tinting, he will be showing up tomorrow morning to add the last final touches, which is we are going to tint the windows. Uh, we're doing 5% on the rear, 5% on this, and 20 on the fronts. Um, that, that's pretty much it. Once we do that, once Andy gets done with that, then the car is finished. So... Uh, I look forward to seeing the, the client's reaction and uh, can't wait to show him his car. We stealing Shane's camera. Let's put you... Here you go. You guys want a different angle? How about that? Is that a good angle? If not, it's Shane's fault. I'm moving the guys again. Excuse the cat. over here to see the finished product of the liquid torch red Corvette. Troy Sowers did an amazing job. The car looks phenomenal. Sorry that you know you can't really it doesn't do it justice on camera. You have to see it in person. Same thing with the chrome wheels. I am not a big chrome lover. As a matter of fact I dislike chrome but man, does this chrome really pop. It is stunning. Andy from Accents Window Tint will be here on uh, Saturday. The client will be picking it up that day as well. So, huge thanks to Troy Sowers right here. Pound it. Fist pump, blow it up, whatever we do. Killed it. Looks amazing. I couldn't be more happy with the finished product. Troy, you're the man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Here we have Andy from Accents Window Tinting. If you remember, he's the guy that did Mike's window tint on the Street Speed 717 Corvette. All them rolls, bruh. It's going down. Window tint's looking good. Love how it just shrivels up. Yeah.
Squizzy. Done! I think he's gonna be ecstatic. He's gonna have, it's like a new car. I mean, it's like a new, new car. I don't know how long he's had it. He's had it for a while. I think. I don't know, but the tinted windows make it look killer. So Judd the Stud is here. He is the owner of this Liquid Torch Red Corvette. Um, you can follow him on Instagram, and he has a YouTube channel, Freaky Fast 43. Let's go get him. Let's see what uh, see his reaction. Live shoot, what's up, buddy? What's going on, brother? I made another purchase here. Oh, you got five grand. I just got it. For nice, five grand. Yeah, hell of a deal, yeah. dude. You're a hell of a, <laughs> hell of a talker, dude. You're getting the low end of the deal here, man. Yeah, you're a heck of a negotiator I I on that. Better. I wish I worked out more to be on film here. But no, you're good. I don't know. Hate to steal you away. You want to go? You want to yeah, come check out the car? Nice. Yeah. All right, brother. Hey, oh, wow. My car. This is your car, That's brother. Awesome, dude. This is your car. Now there is still a little bit of solution bubbles in some areas, which they will cure out. This thing only had one full day of, of sunlight, so wow. uh, give it some time and it'll cure out. But look at that liquid red. It definitely shines. When I got this vehicle, the dealership was absolutely flawless. The kind of dealership, but it actually makes it look. It made it look lame now in the dealership. This is really. This is awesome. Yeah, brother. I don't know who's watching these videos out there, but if you have a car like this, or if you have any kind of car in the world, I don't care. Six-figure car, seven-figure car, Cavalier, whatever. Go to Inshane Designs, because he will hook you up. Trust Dude, me. thanks, brother. <laughs> I appreciate that. Awesome job, seriously. Though. Thank you. Um, Troy did put the coating on the windshield, so now when you know, you're driving through the rain, not you only have to use your windshield wipers. Did, did you ever have a problem with Side doesn't oh yeah, we didn't take that off. Oh, yeah, so yeah, no, yeah. no. I don't nope. know what that issue would be then. Yeah, I don't know either. Like I said, the only person that actually that Dubai Corvette yeah. had an issue when we went to put it back on. Yeah. And then Mike's Mike's car had an issue and that's yeah. that's pretty much the only two. I mean and Mike's wasn't taken apart, so but yeah man. Did you, so you drove this car a little. I drove it I drove it on the way here. I wanna ask you, I know you probably weren't beating. Bro, I know you. Hell no, I don't I beat it. it and the one thing I did love, I did love that it was manual, and it is completely it smooth. It. Yeah. Dude, it's smooth. I mean, everything is perfect. Nice. On it. I love it. It's car. fun. I like it that little pin again. Like I love it. It's my car. I can't believe it is my car. But I, I love it. Nice. It's like it's like having Beautiful a new car, car, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh the man. Tires you've seen when you had them off, they're, they're really good. They're they're they're. A little over half life on the tires yet, yeah. but like somebody, I don't know, if there's somebody looking at it that doesn't know cars like this, they look like they're completely shot. That's uh, that's so funny because Mo, like my, Mike's car, yeah. different, same dimension, yeah. like his stock tires, same dimensions, but yeah. like they look covered in tread because they're yeah. Michelin Super Sports or something, these are Cup 2 tires, so yeah. ball game with these. Mo actually made that, yeah. made that comment, he's like, yeah, you, uh, tell him he needs to get new tires, I'm like... Nah, dude, they're, I think that's what they're supposed to yeah, be they're, like. They're sticky, yeah. they're a very soft compound, but uh, they, like what they're made for, you know, they, they work out well. I mean, it's kind of like a prey, it doesn't rain tire, don't yeah, work it out yeah. under, like 50 degrees, but you take this thing to a track, you know, like, I don't it's know, fun. we're going to go around this area, unfortunately, but it'll hook, you know, like, yeah. Vegas Exotics, I, that's where you want to take, you know, Poconos. Heck yeah. As much sports part, it'll hook up. But yeah, bro, cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate no problem. I love it. All right, so there you have it, Judd the Stud, another happy customer. Oh, thanks, man. Yep. Appreciate it. I appreciate you contacting us. Glad you love your car. It's a gorgeous car, by the way. Yes. I'm jealous. Please go to Engine Designs. If you have any <laughs> any problems with cars, you want them to look better, be cleaner, and more protected, come here. Appreciate Thank it, brother. Be safe, man. Absolutely. All right. Thank see you. Man. See you in a little bit. See you in a few weeks.
And there she goes. So sad to see them leave. So sad.